Hi, in this video we will learn about how to upload single image to Firebase storage. Then we will upload multiple image to Firebase storage. In order to let us understand first how we upload single image, I will go to the coding. First I did is like to add two of the libraries. One is the Firebase storage library. We will require that to get the storage reference. And the second one is the coroutines. As one of you uh, have asked in my previous video, can we do the uh, coroutines with the Firebase? Yes, we can do as well. I will detail explanation uh, put in regarding like how we do uh, communicate with the coroutines through coroutines with the Firebase, like uh, add and upload and delete object to the Firestore. So yeah, we will discuss that in later detail. But currently, I will use coroutines with the uh, Firebase storage. So once you get to know that how uh, it's using, you can easily use with the other Firebase store as well and Firebase database as well. So first thing first is like I edit these two libraries. Second thing is in the Firebase module, I created uh, an object, then uh, get the storage reference and the constant. I have two different constants. One is the root directory. Then inside the root directory, I will have another directory which will refer to the nodes. Then inside node, we will uploading the images to that directory. So that is pretty much regarding to the Firebase module. It will re return the storage reference, which requires actually in the repository module. That's because we will pass that reference to the not repository implementation because we will need it. And in the not repository interface, we created a function, which is a basically suspend function. And it represents to upload a single image with having a lambda function. And we implement that function in the not repository. So we will write that code there, uh, the which does the uploading part to the Firebase storage. And also in the view model, I am calling that function with the help of view model scope because the function is basically suspend. It required the coroutine scope. So we because we are calling in the view model, that's why we are using view model scope. So in the inside the launch, I am calling that function. Then in the node detail, what I did is basically we will require these image URLs in the node object as well on the Firebase storage. So in order to view the node, we will get this uh, image URL and will load that uh, with the help of Glide library. So that's why pretty much regarding to the implementation of uh, Firebase storage, but uh, the main important part is actually lib, which does the uploading part. So I will be doing that. And one thing more is. I created a function which is basically on done press that's because we need it uh, let me show you how it's look like currently uh, when user click on done uh, it basically check the validation then based on the object node if it's is equal to null then we it's mean like user want to create a new node if the object is not null then it's mean the user want to update node so we will basically move that code from there, let's suppose if I done press, user want to upload images along with the other detail as well. So for that, we will first wait to upload the images to the Firebase storage. Then we will create a note object or update to the Firestore in order to have the URLs in that object. So that is basically regarding the logic. So image URIs actually represent if there is any of the image URI exit, that means the user have selected any of the image from the gallery so in the else condition i will put same as it is uh, i think the validation part will be good to have it there we don't need to shift the validation where it is uh, yeah so yes let's just how remove that okay and there also so the success actually the loading state be if you notice on the single file we are passing the on result lambda function basically with the parameter ui state uri so we already knew that uh, what ui states means so we don't get need to go in the detail again so ui state if the loading we are showing the progress bar if it's failure then we are hiding the progress bar in success case we are also hiding progress bar in image upload to the firebase storage so in that case i will need to call add note or update note so it's pretty much makes sense right now so that is pretty much regarding to the node detail fragment and not view now the main thing is in the repository implementation now we will write a 
few of the lines to upload that image to the Firebase storage. Let's just get to the coding. We already have the reference in the node repository. So that is the first thing we need. Then the other thing is, uh, let's just, well, URI, URI. URI is equal to with context dispatchers we are doing input and output operation this time we are uh, writing uh, to image to the firebase storage or uploading to the firebase storage so in that case uh, yes storage reference we'll use uh, port file yeah it actually accept URI as well we now that file URI and uh, we will call a wait function to let just wait for to upload the file to the Firebase storage. Then we also need a downloadable URL link or URI, which actually uh, we will upload that to, uh, alongside with the note object because that the URI which will give a reference to the Firebase storage file which is existing uh, in the note directory so that will reference to that uri so for that i will actually simply i will first call storage then download url then await so it will actually await to download the url so that was the reason the error went gone because if you check that await gave us uri now basically what will it does like first it will upload the image and will wait until it upload to the firebase storage then what we are getting from the storage we are downloading that uh, file which is uploaded uh, url then will wait so once it download the uri so it will give us that uri in this variable but what if the exception or error occur then how do we handle that it's quite easy let me do that i will put that in try catch if any of the exception occur or crash we will check that in the exception block exception or error occur in order to upload or downloading the url um, then we will simply use these uh, call invoke the callback on result okay failure message then once it's upload what will happen in the success case we will pass the uri which we get it from the uh, download URL yeah I guess that is pretty much regarding to that code so one thing is actually left is to call the function or maybe I think we already did that in the node detail because on done press we are checking the image URIs now it's time to checking the code live if that is working or not let's just run the application Currently, the application is running. I will check test upload image. Testing upload image. Now I will check. Uh, yes, if I click on the done button, let's just check the terminal. If you see that what it says, Firebase network exception. Okay that's because we are not connected to the internet so that wise it's actually giving us a network exception let me just connect to the my network and now we will go back we are i guess pretty much good to go let's just clear the locate and click on the done function this time it crash you notice the application get crash and uh, it doesn't catch the exception that because we were using the wrong exception in the cache block that was like a uh, firebase fire store so that was the reason i deliberately write to that too in case of you mistakenly wrote that wrote that firebase exception if it's not catching in that block then i will use generalized exception so if any of the exception occur it will uh, going to this catch block so yeah uh, i think uh, one thing is regarding to the rules and the rules is basically it actually uh, allow a write, read and write so i made it true currently there is no restriction on it everyone can read and write even if that is 
authenticated user or not authenticated user i will show in this video how to restrict a user to upload uh, images or read images for only authenticated user so later on in this video uh, currently now just run the application to see if it's working i will go to create node this time uploading single image i will pick an image yes and we'll go to the description in this video we will run about uploading single image okay just done we'll check in the log in the log if you not a sending request that means something is right not has been created successfully so or not is created successfully we'll check that in the firebase firestore database to see if the not has uris or not basically like the downloaded urls if you check that in the image section on zero index it has the uri so that is what we needed like to upload the image after uploading image we needed downloadable url so we will shoot with the help of this uri we can show images to the user i guess that is pretty much regarding to the single image upload what if i want to upload multiple image how will i do that in the code we will check that in the next video